Never start a business without knowing your analytics. It is not only how your website performs and it is not about how many signups you have. It is also about the business metrics. The business metrics show how exactly your business is performing, whether you're in a good condition or whether you need to do something to improve your current activities. In this video, I'm going to tell you about seven important metrics of your business. The previous video about the metrics covered the ones that you're going to track while getting together your website and the product. Now, website and product actually unite into your business. So we're going to see the blend of the metrics regarding the performance of your business. The first one we're going to start with is monthly recurring revenue. Well, indeed, that is connected with the number of times and the bills you get throughout the month. So here is how you are going to calculate it, take a screenshot and do it monthly. But don't forget to set up the analytics system. The next thing you're going to track is average revenue per user. Or another thing here is average revenue payment per user. Why is this metric important? Well, simply it gives you the understanding what marketing budget you can have for attracting a new user. And also it gives you the idea what upsells you can actually make with different customers. By saying different customers, I mean different buyer personas. And that is actually one more video we are going to release pretty soon. Don't forget to subscribe. When it comes to average revenue per user, it is also important to track another metric connected with the money, which is LTV. LTV is also connected with the value your product gives to your product. If this value is actually sensible enough or understandable enough, the LTV is going to grow month after month. If the value is not so clear or it is short term, which also happens sometimes, then LTV is going to be pretty short. Well, any business strives for the longest LTV ever. So, of course, you're going to devise different mechanics, how you can improve the monthly recurring revenue, also average revenue per user and LTV, of course. So these metrics are interconnected. These are hugely important for your business and these imply quite many of the activities. I know some business teams have certain teams for improving these metrics. So there may be also growth teams, well, whatever, well, still any of the business is going to work on them intensively. All right, so we get certain budget from the users. Now it is also time to work on the marketing strategy. And of course, you're going to invest in marketing because you need to get more users. When it comes to marketing activities, you're going to track well, let's start with two important metrics. So the first one is cost per action and the second one is um, customer acquisition cost. Cost per action is something that can be applied to any of the marketing activities. For example, let's take ads. You know pretty well that cost per action in ads is cost per click. Yeah, so everyone does Facebook ads, so everyone knows about it. If we're talking about landing page, cost per action can be calculated for like let's say sign up button, for example. Yeah, you can see how much it costs for you to get the number of signups. As for the customer acquisition cost, well, this metric is um, calculated in this way. Don't forget to take the screenshot. I'm waiting. Have you done it? All right, let's continue. So customer acquisition cost is connected with average revenue per user. And these metrics show you how much you can spend on attracting a new customer. Well, marketing team is very happy about this metric because they know what they can invest into their great ideas of expansion. All right, let us leave marketing with these two metrics. And now let's get back to the business metrics, the overall business metrics one more time. And here we're going to speak about the churn rate. Another metric which is calculated in this way and which is hugely important for any SaaS business. Well, if your churn rate is high, it's time to ring the alarm because it is much cheaper to retain 
the current users compared to attracting new ones. So if your churn rate is growing, it means you're going to spend on the acquisition even more later. Well, again, churn rate depends on the type of business, B2C, B2B, B2G, whatever is there. But apart from the overall churn rate that you can track daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, you can also track the monthly churn rate or monthly recovering revenue churn rate. So from month to month, you can see your losses and take certain measures how to erase it from the story of your business. So that is it. I've covered seven metrics. These are all here. I'm sure you're all experts in business and especially in business analytics. So I want you to share in comments what other important metrics you track over certain periods of time. Let's create this synergy and tell all the businesses in the world which metrics are hugely important to track. Or probably you do not track any metrics and you have excellent intuition. Well, in this case, many businesses envy you. All right, analytics people, I'm waiting for you in the comments and see you in the next video.